Next, we need to check for the punching shear at the column parameters. We will need to determine the shear force at the column parameter, which is equivalent to the air shear force acting on the columns. The VED will be the ultimate limit state where you multiply the factor of safety of 1.35 and 1.5 to the GK and QK. The perimeter length of the columns is determined by 2 times the width of the column plus 2 times the height of the columns. Having the VED determined, and the perimeter of the column determine the D will be the average D of dy and dx now you need to determine the beta since there is a moment acting on the pad footing the beta will be greater than 1.0 the MED here is equals to 50 as given VED is the one that you calculated earlier Perimeter of the column also And you need to compute W1 W1 is determined by this formula Where C1 and C2 is the one that you have already determined earlier on In accordance to this figure Your W1 is found to be this Next, you need to determine the K. Since that the K is in accordance to the ratio of C1 per C2, and the same table apply for both punching shear here, so the value K here will be equals to the value K that you have calculated from the interpolations of the table. Substitute the relevant value into the equations, you get beta equals to 1.178. Substitute this into the equation here, you get your shear stress of 2.45. The calculator shear stress is to be checked with the shear resistance of the concrete as given in the formula here. The factor gamma C is equal to 1.5 and factor alpha CC is equal to 1.0. Substitute the relevant value into the equations, you get your maximum shear resistance of the pad foundations equals to 4.5 Newton per mn square. This value is larger than the load, therefore the shear resistance is acceptable. Next, you need to check for the cracking. You know that the depth of the pad foundations is 650, which is more than 200 mm. That means the maximum spacing of reinforcement bar is not in accordance to the requirement for the slab. You will need to use these formulas for you to compute the stress to be referred with table 7.3 n in order to determine the maximum allowable bar spacing. This is meant for the quasi-permanent loop and this is meant for the ultimate loop. Substitute the relevant value, you get the stress in the seal equals to 203.9 Newton per mn square. Refers to the table 7.3 n with the designated crack width of 0.3 mm based on the exposure class, your maximum allowable spacing will be 245 mm. You will have to check this against the actual spacing of the reinforcement bar, which is calculated by the numbers of the reinforcement bar provided in the longer and the shorter directions of the foundations. The calculator spacing is equal to 172 mm and 142 mm for the longitudinal and the transverse directions. Both spacing is less than the maximum allowable spacing.
Therefore, the crack control is considered acceptable. These are the final design outcome of the pad foundations. The width, the height and the depth of the foundations. The main bar and the secondary bars. The arrangement of the reinforcement bar is indicated in the diagram here.